Titus chapter 2, verse 14 says, Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. <clears throat> Particularly, I want to focus on that phrase, he gave himself for us. <clears throat> In uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5, it says, Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body thou hast prepared me. As Jesus the, the word made flesh said to the Father, A body thou hast prepared me. Even though the body ultimately was going to be offered to God, Jesus said, You've prepared a special body for me. There's a lot of this is, is kind of mysterious to us. We know just what the scriptures tell us that it was it was a special body that was pre that was prepared for the word to inhabit. And it was a special body made for the bearing of the sins of the human race and for the, the bearing of the things that Jesus had to accomplish. In this connection, um, I was thinking of the uh, sacrifices under the Levitical priesthood. And uh, the book of Leviticus starts out with this, talking about how to make the sacrifices. I'll read uh, a few verses about the, the bullock when a bullock is offered, and he shall kill the bullock before the Lord. And the priest Aaron's son shall bring the blood and sprinkle the blood round about upon the altar that is by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall flay the burnt offering and cut it into his pieces. And the sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire upon the altar and lay the wood in order upon the fire. And the priest Aaron's son shall lay the parts, the head, and the fat in order upon the wood that is on the fire, which is upon the altar. But his inwards and his legs, or we might say innards, and his legs shall he wash in water. And the priest shall burn all on the altar to be a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And then the following verses, it lines out the same thing if you were to offer of your flocks, either a sheep or, or goats, and also of fowl, if you were to offer a bird, it was similar. You were to, to wring the head off the bird and pluck its feathers and to, to cut it, divide it. Not completely in half, but just to like open it up. And this is, to somebody who doesn't understand, this may seem kind of, this is kind of gruesome. You know, we're talking about draining the blood from animals and cutting them open and wringing the heads off of birds and this isn't this isn't like pleasant talk things you want to discuss around the dinner table or something but the picture that's shown here is is one of complete sacrifice where the the blood is is taken and sprinkled around the altar the the innards most of the innards are taken out and then it's it's washed the innards are the inside of the, the carcass of the animal is washed from the blood washed with water, the head is removed, and all this is placed on an altar and burned up. It's a, it's a picture of total sacrifice. There's, there's nothing left over. Everything is given to God. And this is the kind of sacrifice that our Lord made. That's what this is given for us to illustrate to us the price that Jesus paid. It was he spent himself. Amen. This body that was prepared for him, he completely spent it. And not only in his living, but in his death on the cross, it was completely spent. It bore all the sins of the whole world. And he, he sacrificed, he offered himself to God. Amen. In Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, um, uses a phrase here that, that kind of takes it even further for us, <clears throat> says that uh, he, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, that's Isaiah 53, 10. So not only the Lord's body, but even his soul, the, to the totality of Jesus was offered up on not just his body, his soul. Remember before he, he died, he, he yielded his spirit to God. So everything that the and and he wasn't just uh, 
like born of Adam, a man like us. He was the Word made flesh. So he was a sacrifice of tremendous value, of great worth. And all of him was spent on the cross for our sins as an offering for sin. It was a, a very great price. So then the con a couple of conclusions we gather from, from this truth is uh, drawn for us in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way that is not like the old priesthood. That's the old way. This is a new way, a living way, where the, the priest and the sacrifice are one and they are both alive and in the presence of God by a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. So that one of the conclusions we can draw from this is that God is satisfied with this offering. Amen. This is once for all. There will, there will never be another offering for sin required. Never, never again. Jesus covered all the sins of the whole human race. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So this gives us confidence before God. When you've sinned, and unfortunately, we, we all do. We're still in the flesh, in the body. We still need to come before the Lord and confess our sins. There's this provision. There's a provision for that. We have a high priest over the house of God, and the, our high priest is the one who bore our sins. So we have this wonderful provision. We come before the throne of grace with boldness and confidence that the Lord will forgive because he's pleased with the sacrifice that's been made. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we're thankful for our Lord Jesus and pray that you would bless us as we think about the great sacrifice that he has made on our behalf and for his reign and his great high priesthood to intercede for us and bring men to God. We pray that you would bless us as we think of him. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen.